Hey everybody, I'm Ivonix, and this is Fallout for Automatron. We are currently in the Mechanist's Lair, in the process of hunting down some of the bitch. <laughs> I'm uh, laughing because of how they position this, this <laughs> skeleton. <laughs> Anyway, on we go. I'm sure we'll have plenty more robots to kill along the way. What's this chessboard? A cherry? Oh boy! Oh! Is that over there? Uh oh. Quantum! No, actually, uh, I, I tried the, uh, the Jones Soda Google Quantum that they made, and, uh, it's... It's not bad, but it's, it's like, really, I really the mechanist has mounted too large a force. It's definitely not a cola. It's, it's like a burial of meat, so... What is this? Oh, robot workbench. No, I'm gonna s take a moment to see if I can't, uh, upgrade... upgrade Ada. So, hold tight. Okay, um, apparently I'm completely useless and not have anything useful to upgrade her with, so never mind. Let's just keep moving. Alright, what is this? Ooh, another quantum. Sweet. Chief Engineer's Terminal. What does this say? Oh, there's a holotape scanner that I will have to look at. Maintenance issue. After doing implantation, the brain on the above subject started exhibiting physical changes. The subject's dura can turn some kind of mottled brown color and started to break down after only 12 hours in the solution. Turns out the biogel was tainted with sulfuric acid runoff from the dome polishing compound, and a reaction was occurring when they met. Unfortunately, this subject is a total loss. We'll have to just, re just write it off as bad luck and switch polishing compounds immediately. Wow, yep. There goes someone's life. Right at office total loss. Great. Okay, uh, we're continuing to have issues maintaining cohesion between the neural interface and the spinal column nerve endings. The nerves reject the connections faster than we can rebind them. I know we're, we're, we're hoping to keep the spinal columns intact for the robo-brains, but it's obviously not going to happen. I'd suggest we revert back to the original plan, the good old brain in a jar prototype. It will reduce the amount of life support subsystems significantly, as well as cut production time almost by a third. I'll submit my findings to the brass in Washington tomorrow. Where are they getting all these brains from? That's what I want to know. What? What? Alright, uh, we got the first batch of robo-brains back from testing and they're a mess! Cracked domes, thrown th treads, overloaded fusion piles, fried circuits, the list goes on and on. This particular issue is troubling, though. According to field users, some of the robo-brains are misinterpreting commands. The onboard brain seems to almost overthink these instructions and decide to rewrite them for efficiency purposes. Most of the time, this results in property damage or even a few civil civilian fatalities. I've gone over every square inch of the faulty units, and I can't find a thing wrong with them. Oh gee, maybe putting brains in, in sight of robot bodies was a bad idea. You ever think of that? I'm going to have to send this issue over to research and see what they can shake out. At least our department is in the clear on this one. Oh yeah, that, that's what matters. I don't get blamed for the problems. One of the robo-brains rolled off the line with a faulty voice module. When it speaks, it's speaking in reverse. This troubled me, so I had them shut down the line for almost eight hours while I checked the software for issues and then gave the audio output assembler a thorough diagnostic. I didn't find any issues, so I gave the all-clear to resume assembly and marked it down as a glitch. I have no idea what would cause such a ridiculous issue, but if you ask me, I think one of the guys upstairs thought it would be funny. Hardy har har. Alright, so what's this holotape right here? Lead engineer, Thomas Harkin. So far, we're tracking on schedule for the latest RoboBrain milestone. Dr. Asante has assured me that the active time between memory wipes has been greatly increased. Hopefully, that will hold true in our latest live testing. The senior engineers also informed me that their latest assembly line adjustments have been completed early. 
I can only hope that means due diligence was still paid, and we're not going to be looking at a total system breakdown again. Other than that, I'm still worried about the, uh, test subjects. Right now, we've got more than enough to meet our demand. Not like these things grow on trees. Go, Ada! Kill that drunk bot. Okay, we're good. Wow, that's enhanced plasma thrower. Oh, hmm. not bad. If I was more into uh, energy weapons, I'm sure I would have fun with that. Okay. Moving right along. <laughs> Oh dear god. Integrated swarm bot. 
that thing. I should have known that was coming up. So many things I should have known. What are you? What is that? Fuck! It always seems to aid a person who goes after her, and I'm just sitting here in the background, still hidden. It always seems to be what happens. Die! Integrated tank bot, fuck you! Ada's trapped. Sorry, Ada. Nice knowing you. Goodbye. Jet. Okay. Oh, except now, of course, I need her to open that door. Scan this. Magically, she is able to come. Despite having been stuck. Here. Another access port. Hurry up, Ada. I don't got all day. I just told you what to do. Why, why are you standing Scan around this. for? Listen to your 
spiel. Uh, actually, maybe I should have. But, oh well, too late now. right didn't have anything else for them, so we're just gonna move on and why is this whole area filled with gas that's what it so need to come back here come, come back up the hill the little hill ring whatever you want to call it here almost four months now and I'm getting bored. I thought it would be exciting to sign up and work for the robotics program, but when I finally got my departmental assignment, I almost quit. Power substation A? Are you kidding me? Four years of electrical engineering school and they have me babysit a bunch of generators? I can strip a Mr. Hand your Protectron down to its base parts in under two hours and they stick me here. What a goddamn waste of time. Jeez. Cunning. After talking to Sharply during my smoke break, I thought of a way to turn my isolation into an advantage. I've got a buddy in the civilian service who works for a vending company, and he reckons that I can make a few bucks if I stick one of his cigarette machines down here. It would save everyone a trip all the way to the surface if they're out of smokes and give me an excuse to say hi to any of the ladies that happen to wander in to purchase some. I'll tell you, Sharply is a goddamn genius. I might even have to comp him a few free packs for his help. B. It took all the trouble to sneak that machine into my substation just to have Banks over at substation B start complaining about the smoke. At first I thought he was just jealous that all the ladies had been hanging around my new cigarette machine during their smoke breaks. Then he showed all his cards when he told me he's going to lodge a formal complaint with Delano if I don't make him happy. He doesn't care about the smoke, sneaky little thief. <laughs> thief? Thief? Is that, that's how you spell thief? Yeah, right? Just wants to uh, cut at the cigarette sales. I might have to pay him off and keep to keep the brass off my back. Finally got official approval to keep the cigarette machine in my substation. I'm pretty sure the free cartons that found their way onto the general's desk may have had something to do with it. Now Banks can, can't do a damn thing about it and he isn't getting a single penny. It looks like this electrical engineer just came out on top for once. Wow. That is, that's some drama. Lord. Okay, uh, <laughs> continuing on. No. Oh, wow, two quantums in here. Nice. I don't care about the cigarettes. Fuck smoking. Terrible for you and everyone around you. 
rush him, please. Whoa! Whoa, who are you? Scrap bot! Fuck you! Die. management. That was another one of the mechanists I bought, but um, obviously we didn't get to hear whatever I had to say because the uh, I had that hall tape playing. But um, I'm sure it was just another spiel about I'm lucky you. You are a scourge upon the Commonwealth. So anyway, let's see what this says. Facilities management terminal unit tasks.
I'm sure she'll catch up eventually. Alright. Here. As soon as I, uh, I activate an access port. <laughs> through there, uh, this is... Getting to the mechanism is taking a bit longer than I anticipated, so I actually need to end this video here. But next time... Next time, we will find the mechanist. So, thanks for watching.